Welcome back, everybody. Time once again for another episode of OC Spotlight. The one show that takes a look at the most incredible people doing the most amazing things. And boy, do our guests qualify for that today here. We have with us some folks from, well, I'm going to let them explain to you here. We have with us uh, Dana and Ed. Welcome to the show here. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. So Dana and Ed, I feel like I'm on the old quiz show. I'm, a, I'm old enough to remember what's my line, and people would come on, and everybody would try and guess what you do. If I had that same show today, <laughs> nobody, nobody would guess what you guys do. What do you guys do? Well, oh. we're pirates for a living. <laughs> <laughs> we get to play pirates. You get to play pirates here. You're part of the Pirates Dinner Adventure. Uh, this is a dinner theater in Buena Park. It's been there for a long time, and you're unveiling a new show for the first time in five years. Let's talk about that. We'll start with Ed here, because you actually serve as the show manager for uh, this. Yes, that's correct. I'm the show manager for uh, Pirates Dinner Adventure in Buena Park. Uh, we opened uh, Secrets of the Deep. Uh, back at the end of May, and uh, it's been a new show for us um, since we opened. And you yeah. opened way back when? This is like 96 we or something? We opened back in 97. Okay, so it's been around for a while, and before that, it was even existed in another uh, iteration. It was, what, Wild? That's right. The, the venue was Wild Bills back in the early 90s, um, and then uh, in the late 90s, um, the owners of Pirates Dinner Adventure bought the uh, property and uh, renovated it, and now we have Pirates Dinner Adventure. There you go. And so for those who've never been, and I confess, all the years I've lived in Orange County, I've never been to the dinner theater. I don't think I've ever been to a dinner theater at all. So what is a dinner theater experience like? What happens there? Uh, well, let's see. You, uh, you actually uh, enter the arena and you are greeted into the governor's gala. Hmm. Uh, so you come in, you're able to uh, peruse the uh, shops, um, enjoy a beverage at our bar, and then appetizers. yes, and enjoy some even an appetizers. adult beverage. Should I choose to get by one here? <laughs> oh yeah, we we in, we uh, encourage you. Is indulging. it just rum? Do you serve other things other than pirates rum? Probably. Oh no, it's a full bar. <laughs> full bar. <Okay. laughs> There's a lot of tasty cocktails that our bartenders will be more than happy to make for you. So you come in, and then you go uh, once the show gets ready to start. You go in and sit, and it, uh, unlike going to a uh, movie where you sit in a chair and watch something on a screen. This is interactive in some sense. You're not just, in even a play, you're not just sitting in the audience passively watching actors on the stage. Talk about that, Dana, a little bit. What, what's the difference between seeing a live dinner theater and regular theater? Well, imagine, you know, you're a mom of two kids. One is four and one is six, and you maybe want to take them to a movie, but they can't sit still or they want to talk and they want to engage with you and ask oh, yeah. you questions. I'm a grandfather of a five-year-old. <laughs> I know what that's like, yeah. Yeah, it, it happens, and kids love to ask those questions. And, and they so, want to talk to the screen. I'm like, shh, be quiet. <laughs> exactly. But with this place, we encourage that because when you come in, um, it's like he said, you're you're greeted by all these pirates and you're put into this immersive <laughs> experience where you have a team. And so maybe... Maybe you're part of the Blue Pirate crew, and so that means you're going to be cheering and, oh. and screaming for your pirate. you got somebody to root for in this. Exactly, uh. and it's an incredibly immersive experience. We do bring kids aboard the ship, or we have them outside of the ship helping us through competitions so throughout I'm the show. So I'm going to see, like, on stage, there's a big ship There's a some sort? huge pirate ship, and everybody is seated all around all it. All around. So it doesn't matter so. where you sit. So you're not just you in front it. watching it up on a stage. Exactly. You're all around it, and it's there in front of you. Yeah, right? you're in a 360-degree environment. Environment, basically, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's interesting incredible. to me because I don't think this immersive idea. It was once popular, maybe it still is back east. But this idea of going to a dinner theater and being immersed in the play, having dinner and watching then a, a live performance, that doesn't seem to be a popular notion anymore, or at least not one that has has survived. You guys have survived in various iterations, but I see so many local dinner theaters have gone away. Curtain, yeah. well, curtain Call was one. Well, I think that was one that went away. And yeah, some that was there. the Elizabeth Howard's Curtain Call Dinner Theater, and then it became the, the just the Curtain Call. Um, yeah, I was a part of that theater troupe you were. for okay. uh, 10 years. Uh, so I, what a great idea to go see, you know, 
these aren't amateur productions. These are quality productions mm-hmm. here. This isn't a high school play or something. Yeah, we're all professionals. All professionals. <laughs> yes. And yet you're seeing something come to life in front of you here. Absolutely. I don't know and why. And not just anything. I mean, you know, when you go to a movie, you're going to see two-dimensional action and, and other things like that, sometimes 3D. But this, you're going to see stunts right in front of you i mean yeah. we have pirates swinging out oh, over wow. ropes right over exactly where you sit it's just an experience unlike any other a mermaid splashing up her tail at you during the show and <laughs> you might get you know a little might get a little bit so what i was going to say is this idea everything old is new again here suddenly when you look at the new disney uh, uh park that opened up the star wars park mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh they are trying to be less of a ride yes. and more of an immersive experience. And the minute you walk in, I haven't been there yet, but they tell me, you know, people run up to you and say, are you part of the rebellion? And, you mm-hmm. know, and people, things are happening. From the minute you're there, you are living in the play. You're, you're a participant in the exactly. action there. We encourage people to come dressed up as pirates. We want you to be a part <laughs> of our crew. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that do it. We'll give you headbands oh and flags and things to wave and have that, fun. Yeah. Yeah. So now you're there, and you have do you have dinner first, and then the show, or does the show go on during dinner? Uh, the show goes on while you're eating. So um, you're led into the arena, and the first thing you see is a giant pirate ship surrounded by water, and you are led to. Oh, your it's not. Sections. It's not even. You don't have to use your imagination. Not just a ship on a dry stage here, and I'm trying to pretend I'm Correct. watching. Oh no, no, it's <laughs> Captain it's, Hook. Or, there is a. Uh, there is a. A replica of a Spanish galleon sitting right in the middle of the arena, surrounded by water, and you are sat around it in uh, six different uh, color crews. So you have blue, orange, purple, yellow, red, and green. I see. So that's the section you're going to root for here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's more than I remember going years ago. I don't think they have it anymore, and it's been so long since I've been to Vegas. But uh, Treasure Island used to have the giant pirate ship and they do the the play for a few minutes and crowds would gather but it it yeah. got old i guess because it was they didn't change it it was just the same thing over and over and over again but you well, guys have updated this show and and it's actually a story it's not just pirates coming out and going yeah. and exactly there's exactly. some story to it. talk about the story here because you each play different characters i know dana plays treasure who, who is treasure treasure is the pirate queen and a lot of the time she is running that ship and all of those other pirates when the captain is not around and at the very beginning of the show she helps to capture the princess and the mermaid and the treasure and bring it back for the captain and there really were pirate uh, uh w- w- lady pirates this was oh, an absolutely. equal opportunity employer back in those days <laughs> in, a, in a world where women didn't have much opportunity <laughs> she could be a pirate so she's the pirate queen she runs the the pirate uh, crew here, and they follow her her lead. And then who else is in this thing here? Ed plays a cutthroat uh, Jack. That doesn't sound like a good character. Here. <laughs> oh no, he's a mean one. <laughs> oh. Cutthroat Jack. He'll stab you in the back, steal your drinks and your women. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to sit in that section then. But <laughs> oh no, you do because we have a lot of fun. I mean, I'll give your women back if I don't need them that long. <laughs> Just for a while. Okay. Just for a little while. No. Um, Cutthroat Jack is, uh, yeah, he is your classic pirate. He is uh, a surly man who is not afraid of a fight, and he won't back down. You can beat on him all you want, but and what's his role? And so we got the pirate queen, and is he trying to also run another crew of pirates? Or? Yeah, J- Jack is the uh, red pirate, so uh, ah. and he's one of the captain's uh, henchmen, basically. So he's, there's multiple pirates all fighting over what the treasure or uh, something. They're, they're fighting over. Well, they're fighting over the treasure, story, right? they're <laughs> fighting over loyalty to the captain, they're fighting over the princess. Mm-hmm. Ah, ah, okay, so there's a... Every, Drama ensues. Of course, there has to be a princess. <laughs> yeah, a, when you bring women on board a ship, something's going to happen. <laughs> something's going to happen. <laughs> something's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Uh, well, uh, let me see if I can make some sense of this. So there's a variety of pirates all fighting over treasure and women and other pirate uh, sort of uh, things here. And I'm root. I'm not just watching them. I'm rooting for what if what if my team wins? Do I win something or do I get a honor? Just, just honor <laughs> the glory of uh, being on the winning team here. Exactly. Uh, we have competitions for uh, first mate, basically, and. You know, whoever becomes first mate obviously is second in line uh, behind treasure. And is it really participatory? Do people go up and join oh, yeah. the crew? And, Absolutely. And, and, you, so I leave the dinner theater. I leave the dinner experience and go out on the stage with uh, you guys. You're here? gonna. We have people that are. Um, well, first of all, we start off competitions. We involve the kids. 
Um, the kids are might might be made to uh, row a boat and race around the ship one time with oh one goodness, of our pirates. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, then we have what are called uh, cannon masters, where you have to toss a bag of gold to your pirate above you, 25 feet up in the air, mm. and then they have to swing in and deposit that bag of gold into a net. We have treasure hunters, which have to find the flags that are hidden and run them up their wow. mast. So there's a lot of interaction going on. We're yeah. doing stuff. We're not just oh, sitting yeah. there eating. Yeah. One of my favorite sections of the show is when um, at least probably, what, like 12 kids or so get brought up board the ship, and they get to actually get sworn in as official pirates for everybody <laughs> that was captured for the day. Forever, lads. And they love it. Yeah. <laughs> they absolutely love it. You might not get to do some one-on-one stuff, I mean, because, you know, the arena sits 720 people, and wow. of course okay. you can't have 720 people running yeah. around. <laughs> no. Uh, but uh, certain individuals are selected by their pirates. Uh, and not everybody's going to want to jump up on stage. Exactly. Very true. But right. the interaction also involves you following orders, you know, by cheering on your pirate or waving your arms mm-hmm. back and forth, standing up at attention and, and being sworn in by the captain himself. Uh, so there's that type of interaction. Uh, that's for the people that are a little bit less outgoing and not really want to be up in front. Right. Out on out 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 fighting on the frontier here. Out, exactly. Out on the high seas. All right. So, how did you two get into such a crazy thing? Come on. Did you, did you dream of being pirates when you were little kids? Here, this yes. is just a. I think everybody yes. did at one point, right? <laughs> I've been in theater and performing ever since I was four years old. So, being on the stage is nothing new to me. And I knew about this show, and I wanted an opportunity. And I was actually working at uh, Teatro Martini, which is also um, owned and run by the same company who runs Pirates Dinner Adventure. Okay. They're you know right next to each other. I mean, I can be doing the teatro show and hear pirates going on next door. What's the teatro show? I don't know that one it's, either. It's uh, more of a like an adult variety type cabaret show on the weekends. Um, it's no kids. <laughs> it's 18 <laughs> okay. and over. Uh, right. They've got some great fun acts, magicians and aerialists and fun stuff like that. And so because I was a singer in that show, I thought, I, I've always wanted to do pirates, and so I found the auditions for pirates and said, I want to hop on over there and be a part of this experience, and then I found it. How big is the cast? How many people are in this? In pirates, we have a cast of uh, 11 characters. Okay, because you play a variety of the characters, don't you? You you, you fill in lots of mail. You, you must have that nasty... Uh, <laughs> Um, character that seems to fit everywhere here. <laughs> well, no, it's just that I've been there for over 12 years. And so throughout that time, I've had the other pirates in. get killed off. And yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, within every recreation of our show, I've had to take on different roles at t- uh, certain times. Um, and being the show manager, it helps to know every character. So if there is any somebody kind of sick issue, or somebody yeah. can't make it or whatever, yeah. Exactly. Because I mean, you go. Seven days a week? Seven days Seven a days week. A week. 365 and, days out of the year. And a couple shows on what, Saturday or Sunday, yeah, like a typical uh, exactly. Broadway play would do here? Exactly. Yeah. Two shows on Saturday, two shows on Sunday, uh, two shows on Friday as of right now. And the show lasts how long, roughly? It's 90 minutes from the main show. Uh, so it's uh, the moment you're led into the arena and you're sitting down, the show starts, it's 90 minutes. There is half hour before the main show where we have a slightly uh, entertaining pre-show. Uh, kind of get, a get lot you of, up to speed what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah it it's basically back story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a little exposition, and it just introduces you to the pirates, and this is your first chance to actually see the pirates, and they lead you into the harbor. So you're not just brought in and say, here's your seat. You have to follow your pirate because mm-hmm. you're actually part of his crew and now. And what kind of food? What's the choices? What am I eating when I go in there? It's a set fare. Uh, of uh, chicken, vegetables, mashed potatoes, uh, your choice of a garden salad or soup. Um, there are also kid options as well. Yes, there's Good. kid okay, options. Right. There's a vegetarian option. Really? Because that's see that I was, I was going to assume not, but in today's my wife is a vegetarian, so she would want to know that. Yeah, yeah, there's a vegetarian option, and you have the uh, the ability to upgrade your meal as well. Um, there's upgrades available. For say a lobster tail mm, with a glass okay. of champagne. So it's not just one size fit all. That's that was my complaint when I looked at some of these in the past. It was kind of like that's it. You get this mm-hmm. set menu, and if this doesn't sit well with you, then sit elsewhere. Go elsewhere. Maybe right. you know you don't get to do that. So you got some choices, 
and uh, I'm assuming it comes complete with the meal, but not the beverages. That would be separate, I'm assuming. Yeah, we offer you unlimited sodas uh, and water, of course. But, but if you uh, want to get cocktails or beer and wine or something like that, mm-hmm. that's exactly. above that's, and beyond that. That's something different. And tax and gratuity are not included as well. So, you know, when you're enjoying your meal, you're enjoying your show, remember that at the end you got to give something up to your servers because they're working hard for you. Yeah, they bet. are. They're taking I'll care bet. of crews of Is that disruptive to you? Uh, um, to, uh, years ago, I went to see uh, uh, the only kind of dinner theater I've ever been to is one up in, used to be up in um, like Redondo Beach, The Strand, and they used to do concert acts. And I thought that was the same idea. But it was very disturbing. The concert's playing and then people are walking around saying, hey, I need another soda. The waiters mm. are banging dishes and all this stuff. Is that a distraction or have you figured out how to work around all that? No, we figured out how to work around it and the servers are uh part of the immersion as well they're dressed up in ah, as galley servers and okay. uh and they you know they're trained to be as invasive as possible right so they're there to serve you but not to draw attention away from what you're doing exactly necessarily, yeah. right? and they also help us out as well because they get volunteers for certain aspects of the show Ah, i see so they help bring people into the act here and keep them in, involved in it well, it sounds like an amazing experience here. It's been going on for a long time. Why redo the show if it was working well? You just need a refresh uh, for people that have already been there? Or what, what's what been added this time that wasn't there before? A mermaid has been added. Ooh, wow, that's <laughs> worth going right there. All right. Yeah, yeah that alone. Um, oh, well, you, <laughs> you know. got my attention when you said mermaid. Okay. <laughs> It gets a lot of kids' attention, especially. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you get to meet kid. the mermaid after the show. Wow, okay. Kids love that. Ariel the mermaid here yeah. comes to life. <laughs> um, all right, so there's a mermaid. Anything else that you can tell us about the show or this this new uh, version of it that's come out? Well, we have, uh, you know, the pirates are going to be fighting over everything. Right. So, of course, we change up uh, some of the fight choreography. We do have a uh, change up in the aerial act because so there is an area. I mean, things are going on overhead and in mm-hmm. front of you, mm-hmm. and pirates are flying and cannons are going off, yeah. and mermaids are splashing. There's lots of activity here. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, and of course it is story driven. So there's a beginning, a middle, and end. There's a hero, there's a villain, and there's a love story. Is that normal for these? Because I sort of pictured them to be more like, um, I don't know, uh, I can't even think of an example, but where it's just sort of everybody shouting, okay, everybody stand up and do this, and there, there isn't sort of a story to it. That's correct, and that's what makes uh, Pirates of Adventure so unique, uh, because you do have other shows that uh, have their niche um, but uh, we actually follow a, and follow a storyline where you understand who the hero is and why right. they are the way they are. You understand why Captain Sebastian of Black is the way he is. You know, being such the mean pirate and 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 wanting uh, the treasure and wanting the princess to be with his crew right at this moment. You know, because and it's pretty easy even for kids to follow along. I mean, That's what they'll, I was say. they'll react they... pretty pretty often and go, "What?" or "No way!" <laughs> yeah, right. So, is this for all ages? Absolutely. Uh, can I bring my five year old grandson and my sixty five year old wife here, where we're both going to enjoy this thing here? Oh, 100%. absolutely. Your my wife thirty year old like daughter. The, yeah. yeah, your wife and thirty year old daughter will like the uh, the pirates. You know, and we take our shirts off sometimes. And, uh, <laughs> And of course, that. of course, the you know <laughs> the ladies are there for the for the gentlemen in the audience. You know, I mean, who doesn't like a mermaid? Um, <laughs> you got my attention, a mermaid. I said yeah. that a couple of times. Sir. Yeah, I started bringing my uh, my son to the show when he was old enough to sit still, and that was at the age of two. And hmm. and uh, he'll come occasionally, and he's actually participated in the show himself. So he he loves it. He loves Daddy plays pirate. Well, it's interesting to me that you've been there so long, and I confess I've never been there. And I don't know why it never crossed my radar. (laughs) Maybe there's too many choices in town here. But it sounds like an absolutely amazing experience. And the more you talk about it, the more I want to go here. Well, good. We'd love to have you. When does the new show start? It opens uh, like next week? It opened at the end of May. It it opened at the end of May. We've been going strong since May. Um, You can get your tickets by uh, logging on to www.piratesdinneradventure.com. Piratesdinneradventure.com. All that. Piratesdinneradventure.com. All right. So we have that going on right now, but just know that come all of October and all of December, 
totally different show as well. Yes, we really? do holiday oh, shows. Really? During so. October, it's called Vampires, which is a completely different <laughs> show. Vampire. And the pirates are vampires as well. And the instead of a princess, she is now this vampire hunter who has ah, come after us. Ah. And then in Christmas time, we actually have Santa and Mrs. Claus who get kidnapped by the pirates. Wow, and it's wow. to help save Christmas. And I like that because that's one of the things you go to, you like even go to Disneyland and you've seen the thing whatever it was used to be uh is it a small world or anything i know that's not around anymore whatever is over there these days but once you've seen it you've seen it there isn't an impulse to go back and do it again unless they change it and by changing it yeah for holidays and you get to go try oh, yeah. something we have different. people that will come every single year for vampire it's or for christmas or both because it's one of their favorite shows that we do and they're they're both absolutely incredible in their own way well it sounds like this is going to become one of my favorite things to bring people to particularly when people come out of town they want something that nobody oh, you can't absolutely. get anywhere else you bring your friends there or maybe it's just that thing that you take that the whole family can go to you know there aren't many mm-hmm. things left that mom and dad can enjoy I, I i hate to plug Chuck E. cheese here but you go there once and you want to no, shoot yourself <laughs> yeah this isn't something that you want to go out on a date as a as a couple <laughs> no, but you have to right. leave your kids at home you can just go out as a family and actually all enjoy it yeah exactly, exactly. and okay. and you know like you said we don't there's not many things like this out there so the more you get into it the more you're going to enjoy it and i like the fact you can get dinner we we plugged a lot disney on ice and those type of things come through and they're very big oh, and interactive food is essential and stuff. i want to enjoy a show but i also can't be hungry i can't be hungry <laughs> and i'm sitting here watching we've paid a lot of money to watch disney and ice or these other things and i'm eating a 20 dollar hot dog or something it's yeah. just you know not the same and it's like you already know it's included in the price so you don't have to worry about it it's like it's already there for you prices run roughly i know there's lots of discounts and other ways right. to get them here but you're in that 50 60 dollar range the or something general like ticket admission for an adult is sixty two uh, ninety five, and for children it's thirty six ninety five. Okay. And now there are different ways you can find coupon codes. You can find other t- types of discounts, uh, but that is the general admission price. We'll probably be giving away some tickets here through our social media. Look for that. Um, all right. Well, Pirates Dinner Adventure. You're located at seventy six hundred Beach Boulevard, Buena Park. What's that near you? That must be up near Knott's Berry and all the other. It stuff is here? right up the street of Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, it's one block away from the ninety one freeway. Okay, so no excuse in Buena Park. We've had the mayor in here a few a year or two ago. They put big effort into reviving Buena Park Avenue and all of that up there. There's a lot mm-hmm. more things and activities restaurants and bars and other sorts of things here and they're really trying to because it's been around forever so they're trying to put a new face to it revive it and just as you're reviving this show here i I think it's a great idea and it's something everybody should give a give a try to at least once see if you like it huh our (laughs) <laughs> exactly. How do we do the show without saying stuff like that? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I realized we hadn't done that yet. Oh so. my goodness! I've got a pirate joke for you. All right, pirate what joke. What is a pirate's favorite letter? The pirate's favorite letter. I have no idea. Well, most people would say R, but we oh. say it be the C. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. My favorite letter is X, because X marks a spot. Oh. For Shreta. <laughs> well, that we're going to leave it there, because uh, we're going to mark the spot here and move on to another show. I thank you for coming in. Uh, uh, Dana and Ed, uh, two uh, actors who bring to life the real-life characters in this uh, very interesting pirate dinner adventure in Buena Park. It's recently be revamped. If you haven't been there, if you haven't been there a long time, go check it out. How do they get tickets again here? They can go to www.piratesdinneradventure.com or you can call uh, the reservation line at... We'll look up. I don't have it. Well, in front let's of look me it here. up. I don't have it on my either, but... All right. The Pirates Adventure line, uh, while we're looking that up, is uh, in the website Pirates Dinner Adventure. Is it piratesdinneradventure.com or piratesdinneradventureca.com? No, piratesdinneradventure.com. Okay, because on the press release it also said ca.com, so it might be two different versions of it here. And the phone number for Pirates is 714-690-1497. Okay, we'll put an X on that one. Put a big red circle around it because you're going (laughs) to want to go check it out. Pirates Dinner Adventure in Buena Park. Thanks for coming, guys. You're more than welcome. We hope to see you You've been listening to another example of all the crazy stuff we find here on OC Spotlight. 
things you've never thought of before here, right on Orange County's only community radio station, octalkradio.net.